Hello, everyone. In this module, I'm going to demonstrate how uh, you can call child component methods through pay parent component. So basically, this we can do with the help of all our methods. So let's jump into developer console. So first of all, I'm going to create a child component. And in the child component, I will be creating three Aura methods. And then I will be creating a parent component and will be calling those methods in the parent component. So clicking on file, new, lighting component, naming it as child message component. So component is created. Now here we can write the code. So I'm going to implement three Aura methods. So if you want to create any Aura method, so you need to use this tag Aura colon method. Then you need to provide the name. So I'm naming it as show. Then action C dot show message. And access equals to public. Right now, inside this aura method, I'm going to create one attribute, naming it as message. Its type is string, and default value will be blank. So, what I did, I created one aura method, its name is show. So whenever you want to call this aura method in the parent component, so you need to use this name show. And when you call this method, so what action you want to perform that uh, we will be uh, defining in this uh, show message method that I'm going to implement in controller. And uh, this is the attribute. So basically if we want to pass any value uh, while calling this aura method, so that passed value will be available into this message attribute. So name can be anything. So for demonstration purpose, I used message. Now, if you want to create one more method, so you can just copy paste and rename name as error. Here I'm writing show error message. The attribute is same type string. And here I am removing this default, pasting it again. So this time I don't require this attribute. So I'm closing it here only, naming it as remove and its action will be remove messes. So this way, basically I created three aura methods. Two will be having some uh, arguments in the attribute. And one is simply a method which, which won't be having any attribute. Now, here I'm going to create one div whose aura ID is equals to messages, right? So later on in the controller, I will be creating a dynamic component. So that dynamic component will be rendered uh, in place of this div. That's why I created it. So I save this. Now I need to jump to controller. So in the controller, what I need to do, I need to uh, create three methods. So first method will be show message. So I'm naming it here, copying it. Then second will be show error message. And third is remove messages. So this way uh, you can see uh, three methods are available here. Now in these three methods, I need to call uh, another method. So in this demonstration, I'm going to use this helper as well. So helper is basically uh, also a JavaScript file. And whenever you want to call a method more than one time, or uh, you want to uh, repeat particular process. So what you can do, you can uh, write the code in this helper method. And you can call those helper methods uh, more than one time in this controller, right? So I'm going to do uh, same here. So the purpose is helper dot 
show message helper. So this is the method name which will be defined in the helper. And from here I'm passing component event and one value as confirm. Now I'm going to call the same method which will be defined in the helper. And from here I'm going to pass third parameter as error. And here I'm going to call another method. So its name will be remove message helper. And I don't need to, I don't want to pass uh, second and third parameter. So I'm just passing component as a parameter for this. So now in the helper, I need to implement two methods. Two methods, one is show message helper and second one is remove message helper, right? So remember always whenever you have a method that you need to call more than one time or uh, like uh, any number of time in the controller. So instead of defining that method in controller again and again, you just can define that method in helper and you can call it uh, anywhere in the controller. Now moving here. So here I need to write component, then event and severity. So this third parameter, which I'm passing as confirm or error, it is basically a severity. So uh, I will be creating a dynamic component. That dynamic component uh, will be basically a message, uh, message component. So uh, UI message will be displayed along with the severity, like uh, if severity is confirmed, so uh, message will be in green, if severity is error, so masses will be in Z, right? So that's that kind of uh, UI I'm going to create dynamically. So here I'm creating one variable as masses even dot get param. Then variable display message if masses so what will happen whenever we will be calling this method from parent component so a parent component will be passing one argument that will be received in in this masses so what we are uh, going to do here like uh, this event uh, like uh, i will be calling the uh, aura methods uh, through a button click uh, inside the parent component so whenever that button will be clicked, so uh, these arguments uh, will be fetched and they will be available in the messages. So if messages is not null, so what I'm going to do, I'm assigning value into display masses. So messages dot message. So this message is the argument which is available here in form of attribute, right? So once this complete code will be implemented, so uh, I will again uh, uh, explain the steps like uh, from where methods are calling and how this value is available, right? So let me just complete this code first, then you will get to know each and everything. So I'm creating one more variable as message panel. And here I'm writing component.find messages. So basically component.find will be finding uh, this or ID messages that is available here, right? And that uh, component will be inside this message panel. Now moving forward, so $a dot create component. So now I'm going to create dynamic component. So UI colon message, then title severity dot to uppercase. So basically, uh, this will be the component that will be created and uh, uh, it's title, sorry, comma will be available here. 
so title will be like uh, severity dot to upper case so severity we are passing as confirm or error so uh, confirm will be uh, set as title and error will be set as title and in, uh, in upper case right next uh, attribute like if you want to set the severity so here we are using severity so this is uh, attribute of this component and this is the variable that we are receiving here and third i am going to use closable true so this way here you can see one dynamic component is created so curly braces and i am closing it here putting a comma now i am going to create one more component so let me arrange this yeah this is one component now here i am going to create one more so it will be ui colon output text value display messages and it is closed here and then i need to close it so this is closed and now here i need to write a function so function components status status messages list and inside this function basically uh, first i will be checking the status so if it is equals to success so what i can do i can fetch these dynamically created components so basically whenever you create dynamic components so those components will be available in this components variable so what you can do you can you can uh, simply create variable as ui message equals to components of zero then variable ui output equals to components of one right so on zero at zeroth index this message a uh, component will be available ui message and on one index this output text component will be available so now these are available in these variables right now what you can do you can put ui output inside the body of ui message and now you can put ui message in the message panel because message panel is basically fetching the or id of that div right so both will be placed there automatically so message panel dot set v dot body ui message so these curly braces are closed and this bracket is closed putting a semicolon comma now i need to define one more method so second method that i need to define uh, will be for remove messages right so i'm just copying this statement from here i pasted that so basically in the remove message component we just need to uh, clear whatever value is available in that div right so here i am removing these as well so variable message panel equals to component so component dot find and 
aura id will be same uh, that is message which is available here as well messages not message and then message panel dot set v dot body and blank square brackets right so this way this remove message helper is also implemented so just rename it as remove so this way our child component is created now it's time to create parent component so creating one more component so it will be parent message component so it is created i am just closing this one yeah here it is so creating one heading calling methods of child component through parent component then hr now here i need to call this child message component aura id equals to messages so basically what i did i just use the child component inside the parent component so that i can call the aura methods which are defined inside the child component now i am going to create ui buttons so this is first button so its label will be show confirmation and it will be uh, calling this handle show method so i'm pasting it thrice so this will be show error then handle error and it will be remove messages and handle remove so this way a uh, parent component is also created now i just need to create its controller where i will be calling aura methods so i am just copying this handle show and uh, handle error handle remove so these three methods are available here now what i need to do i need to call the aura aura methods inside this right so component dot find messages dot show confirmation message so basically what i am going to do uh i am just finding uh, this or id messages in the parent component so here it is and it is for this child component so through that id i am just calling this show method which is defined here in the child component and i am passing this confirmation message as an argument so it will be available in this message attribute that we are fetching here through this messages dot message right so whenever uh, i will be clicking on the button so that uh, uh, confirmation messages will be available in the arguments and uh, that argument will be available in this messages and through messages dot message i am fetching it right so this way i am going to call it here as well so in the second method instead of show i just need to call the error method so replacing it with error and instead of confirmation messages i am just passing error message here and here i am going to call remove and i don't need to pass anything because in remove we don't have any attribute right 
So this way, all the code is implemented. Now I'm just going to open demo app. So inside this demo app, basically I'm going to put parent message component. Saving this code, clicking on preview. So here you can see this is the parent component message, calling methods of child component through parent component. And these are three buttons. So if I click on show confirmation, So basically I made some mistakes. So uh, here message panel spelling was incorrect and status spelling was incorrect. So if you're following this video and implementing this, so make sure this message panel and status is written correctly. If you correct this and uh, click on this button. So here you can see uh, this confirmation message is available. So this confirmation message is the output text and this confirm is uh, basically uh, total, uh, this green box is uh, UI message. If you click on show error, so it will come in red. If you click on remove message, so it will be removed. So this way, uh, I hope you understood how we can call Aura methods. Those are defined in child component through parent component. Thank you.